Hello. So today we're going to talk about DAW Sync because that represents the most practical way um, to really get use out of your rack um, in terms of musical use because, you know, sequences are expensive. You know, you stack up a big rack. It's a lot of money at the beginning. Um, so this is an easy way to kind of get some music out of it without having to spend like multi-thousands of dollars. It's still not so cheap, but this would get you started. Um, so what I have, I have two oscillators, um, and really that's all you need. You know, I, you, you can get away with just one, to be honest, and you just multi-track and layer them up. I have a dual filter, um, so we can filter the sounds. I have my function generator here. I chose maths because it has some utilities to it as well, and I have my VCA. Um, and then over here, I have um, a Maleco sync. Um, there's lots of different ways to deal with this. So Expert Sleepers makes probably the best one, especially in, if you're using Ableton because it can send CV from the computer and to the computer. Um, but I don't have that kind of money, <laughs> so I've gone this way. Um, this is a nice device. It just gives you USB input. Um, it gives you some clock outputs and then, you know, some MIDI outputs. Um, so it's converting the MIDI from the computer into control voltage. Uh, so what we're going to do is make like a basic patch. Um, so we're going to go from CV1 into the 1 volt per octave. For the Dixie 2, we're going to do CV2 into the 1 volt per octave for this oscillator, the bubble sound. Um, and then I'm just going to set up like a double sawtooth. So I'm taking the saw wave out here. I'm going into the filter. Um, this is set to the first filter. I'm going to take the sawtooth out of the other and go into the next filter. Uh, I am going to take a low pass one. And we're going to go into audio here. And we should have sound. <laughs> <clears throat> and I'm going to take low pass two and go into the second channel here. And then these, these two channels here are just going to the mixer. Okay. Then I'm going to take gate one and I'm going to send it to the trigger on the maths. Um, so what this is going to do is trigger that envelope that we talked about in the envelopes video. Take gate two and trigger the other one. And then I can just go out of one envelope into my Tango Quartet and out of the other one to channel two and we should have sound. Now what we're gonna have to do here is I'm gonna have to cut and I'm gonna show two different examples of how to set this up. Um, so I'm gonna show you clock and external instrument setup for Logic and Ableton and it will be the same you know in every DAW in terms of like there's, there's going to be some kind of sync setup you have to do. Um, so I'm going to cut here, show those two, and then we're going to come back. Okay, so let's talk about syncing with Logic. So what we're going to do is you would go to File, Project Settings, Synchronization. And then it'll open up this preferences window, and we go to MIDI. You can see Destination. I would choose my device, so mine is the Maleco. And then you would just send clock. And at that point, it's just sending clock. Um, so you would use this, this to sync a sequencer or something like that. Now, if we're using external instruments, like I'm going to send MIDI, we would create a new track. Oh, huh. Anyway, you create a new track. You call it an external instrument. You say where. And you say the MIDI channel. And that's all it takes. You do have to have um, some inputs here. I am using a mixer with an aggregate input here. Um, so I hope that helps. We're going to cut over to Ableton now. Okay, so I hope you can hear this. I think you can. Uh, so what we're doing here is we're going to show how to sync to Ableton because um, this is a really good program for doing Eurorack because it gives you the ability to 
send and receive um, control voltage if you have the right interface. Um, and again, there's a few, there's a list on their website. There's like universal audio, there's expert sleepers, what have you. Um, so let's show how to set up some stuff. Um, if you want to do clock sync, you would go to the live preferences. And under link MIDI, you would see this list down here in the middle. And you can see my Maleko. I am sending track sync and remote. Um, mostly important to send is sync and track. Um, same thing with the output, we're sending sync out. Um, so um, my device here is flashing, it's receiving clock from Ableton. Um, if you're going to send MIDI, like play it like a keyboard, you would go to a MIDI track here, and you would go to, you see where it says no output, right? We we'll change that to um, the Maleko, which we actually can't do while we're recording. <laughs> so funny. And then you would choose your channel here. Okay? So I hope that helps. Okay, so now that you've seen how to you know, get the computer, get the DAW talking to your device, um, we're going to play with some sound. So what I have here is a loop and some octaves. So it's a nice thing. Um, so what's happening there is, you know, I'm just sending, you know, each channel to each um, oscillator here. And then it sends out a signal. We've got all this going on. Um, what you get with your rack is you can record this into audio and turn the knobs as you go. Um, so that's a really fun thing. Uh, let me see if I can move some stuff around and we'll hear that. Okay, so it gives you some live control like this is an instrument. The other nice thing when you have two oscillators is you can have two different parts going in. Okay, now something else to consider. Um, this isn't like a true Moog patch that's happening here because, you know, a real Moog style patch would have the envelope going to the filter and the volume. Um, so how would we set that up um, in the cheapest way possible, right? Uh, so what we would do is get one of these handy-dandy stackable cables, take one side to the filter, one side to the amplifier, the VCA, as it were, and we're just going, you know, into the CV that we talked about in the filter section. So now... This is serving two purposes. It's um, taking both filter and volume. <laughs> okay, um, so that's how you set up that basic patch. Uh, it's just very straightforward. Really, the thrust of this was talking about how we um, sync this stuff. Um, so I hope that helps you, and we'll catch you on the next one.